smaller displays from IT displays from uh, 11 inch up to 49 inches. It's um, all the artwork here is uh, done by our uh, very famous artist from Korea, Ko sang -ho. He's a AI artist. You can see the vibrant colors of the OLED. And um, you can see the difference between conventional, which is LCD and OLED. So anything to add? Um, so the things that he designed is quite meaningful as well. You can see the description there. So something that you'll normally um, sort of come up with the designs or pieces that kind of goes beyond just uh, global issues, uh, try to raise awareness as well. Um, but this specifically is good application to highlight the, the compar comparison between conventional versus OLED. Um, I, I think you guys can definitely see that. Yeah, the colors, right? Visually. Yeah. Okay, so... Should we move on? Okay. So next, this is a new trademark that we uh, work with under Underwriters Laboratory. Uh, we got certified, and um, this shows that um, our OLED is as bright as um, it's more bright than LCD. So uh, can you can you guys tell me which one looks more wider on this side? This one looks more wider. This one. Oh, okay. Yeah, actually the contrast between black and white. So this is much more wider. And um, also here, which one looks more bright? The right side. The right side, right? So, but as you can see, when this is um, actually um, showing the actual luminance, here it's 279, and that one is 296. So LCD is actually brighter in number, but um, this looks brighter, right? So that's why. We work with um, Underwriters Laboratory, and um, we came up with the new trademark, True Bright. So it's going to come out. Um, it's already out, so we're also communicating with our brands, the customers, and they're going to use that. So when you see the number, say, let's say True Bright five, four, 500, that will be, even though OLED actually it's only 300 nit, but it will show as LCD 500 nit. So yeah, that's the concept. All right, Synchroma. This is another trade, trademark that um, we work with Pentone. Uh, the, it's a Synchroma tra trademark. So this shows that um, here. Let me show you. Oh, OK, so as you can see, all the turquoise color is the same, right? So OLED smartphone, OLED laptop, and OLED a QD OLED mo monitor, right? So all the colors are synchronized. So that's why it's a synchroma. And when you see that it's an OLED and LCD notebook and QD OLED monitor, you can see that the LCD notebook does not show the same color as synchronized color as the other OLEDs, right? So um, yeah, so only OLED can re 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 reproduce all the actual colors. So I think you had a better explanation on this one. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's in, in a way to kind of give you, give consumers experience in terms of, um, not just consumer actually, from the product development size all the way to delivery, uh, the, the consistent color uh, representation uh, is going to be presented here. Uh, so it's also content validated. So all the colors that you're going to see on QD OLED, OLED product is going to be very consistent with everything that you see actually in person as a product. Uh, when, so we have an actual um, process here where a person can design with the mindset of I want ocean turquoise and then be able to create products and work with the color that they're inspired by and then turning into a product later being delivered to the consumer all in an exact same color, all with the due to that consistency that OLED and QD OLED can bring to the market. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, okay. Um, next is ultra clarity. Uh, this is our world's first uh, 160 PPI, 160 PPI in gaming OLED monitor, and this we're also we will uh, we're developing this. It's gonna come out soon. So uh, we have the first future of 5K with the 220 PPI. 
So this is the, the cutting edge resolution, the world's first 160 PPI. That's the one that we're um, promoting. Yeah. Should we move on? Okay. Next one, we recreated a dream space. So this is like a dream office, right? So we have the round display and also the OLED notebook and 49 inch QD OLED and tablet and the 31.5 inch QD OLED monitor. So, and also two uh, TV screens over there. So who wouldn't love to have an office like this, right? So. Quite nice. And that round display is also used for um, Mini Cooper. So there's a variety of displays that's being um, presented here. So if you look to the side, there's 65 inch QD OLED. Um, there's also, like she mentioned, round displays on top, um, QD OLED monitors. Um, the laptops, there's also a uh, concept smart uh, speaker here, right, right. as well as there's, there's, uh, there's a lot of tablets. products in this room that kind of represents that CEO's library, CEO's yeah. studies, um, that kind of clearly kind of makes you envious <laughs> of right. one's office, you know? Okay. Okay. If you turn around, you'll see a gamer's dream space. So, um, so we got the, we're featuring 27 inch QD OLED and the 49 inch and you can have another 55 inch. Somebody mentioned that it would be nice to have like a TikTok chat over here. And also the gaming notebook and the gaming monitors here. And we will have a new 360 Hertz monitor coming out. So, also here, uh, this is LCD on this side and this is OLED, but you can see that this is much more faster. It seems more faster than this one, right? So that's the difference. And also here, we have the motion clarity. So actually the OLED, you can actually hear, like you can find a enemy much faster than people using LCD monitor, so that's what we're, how we're promoting in the gaming uh, to the gamers. Okay. Okay, so here, um, as you know, in the AI era, um, the energy smart, it's really important. So this is our new technology, UT1, ultra thin. It's, um, UT1 stands for one hertz for lower power and one glass. It's only one glass layer. It's really thin it's for slim and light. So, and we're the only ones who can provide this solution. And this will come out probably sometime next year. So. Um, Unlike the conventional LCD, we're gonna have feature HDR True Black 1000. You can see the brightness. Okay, up next. Okay, let's see. So let's see how how much light this is. So this is LCD. It's 280. Two, three, four, five grams, right? 285 grams. This one here, actually, this one's the current OLED IT panel. We have four notebooks. It's 137. It's already 150 grams less. But, okay, let's change that to, all right. So that's only 77, like, oh, this. Oh, wait, wait, it's 90 something. Yeah, it's 92. So it's like almost 50 grams less. 
So what our customers are doing is that they can put an extra, let's say, a battery cell. It will be about the same as rigid OLED. So, or let's say a fan. It's much lighter than LCD, so we can create uh, the our brands can uh, make a much slimmer and lighter notebook, which is very important for notebooks, right? So that's the advantage of our new UT1 product. Yeah, this. So this is UT1 without CG, so it's very light and thin. Let me get out. So it's like yeah. a flexible display. No. Which is very thin. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's one glass instead of two. Okay, so here. So, so, <laughs> so let me compare the temperature here. So this is a, I think it was a mini LED. Yeah, you can see that the temperature of this is about 45 degrees Celsius. How about, let's compare that to OLED. It's about 23, of course, it means it will save more energy, right? Less heat. So you can also feel this. This is hot and this is kind of cold. And <laughs> So the Echo 2 OLED is about efficiency, right? So low power consumption, uh, yet still a similar output in terms of what you see on the screen. So you notice it here, uh, conventional, using uh, 1,160 versus 820. It's m using less power, but it's still producing very similar output, right? So you can, I don't know if you have a super vision or not, but I can't tell the difference. So um, that's a big advantage. Also the lead here, uh, which is a uh, Polis, uh, which, which we took, uh, took out the polarizer. So it's a poleless, um, display. Um, so it's much thinner as well. Also, it's less weight. So compared to conventional uh, panels, we have reduced the size, we, we made it much thinner, much lighter, and as well as being incredibly power efficient as well. Yeah. So uh, if you move, move over here, it's, the, I guess it's like one of the most exciting stuff here. This is extremely cool. I think you have to see it from the side. This is our stretchable. Okay, I'll let you see. <laughs> it actually comes out. So you can you can see the ball coming out of the screen. So it's quite cool. Okay, so um, I'll just go on. So this is our Flex S display. So it's, um, it's shaped like an S. If you look at it from the top, that's why it's Flex X. It's in and out. Here it's a Flex G. It's a trifold, I guess, like this. So it's shaped like a G, so we call it Flex G. You can take this out and have a look as well.
you, you can try. And we have the slidable flex. It slides out, and actually the screen rolls back. So that's why it's a little bit fake, but um, so it's like it's actually flexes out. So <laughs> let me get out of the. <laughs> And here, this is the flexible display. It's really thin. So we can make these kind of products with this display. But we, we people kept touching it and got messed up. So we said no touch. But it's very slim and thin, and it's flexible. And this, these are our flex notes. Uh, these are fold uh, notebooks. I think someone already introduced this kind of concept. Um, so here, this is the new one with the touch. So you can, oh, you can try. Oh, I go back. Okay. Yeah. Also, over here, we have the 3D. You can stand in front, and you can feel the 3D. Can you have? I think you have to come closer. Yeah. Ah, all right. It's 3D without the glass, right? You should come closer and. Some bad So this is it. You can have a look. And if you have any questions, please ask me.